Hello everyone and today we are going to be doing some art. So today's learning objective is to research and analyse the works of Kara Walker and our focus this term is going to be looking at something called polyprint. Who is Kara Walker? Kara Walker was born on November 26, 1969 in California in the United States of America. She is a contemporary African-American artist known for her exploration of race, stereotypes, gender and identity throughout American history. In a similar way to our previous artist Jacob Lawrence, her work depicts or shows some of the struggles African-American people experienced in recent American history. She is best known for her large-scale tableau of collaged silhouettes amidst black and white pastoral landscapes. In contrast to Lawrence, Walker's work shows the difficult experience of African Americans who were kept basically as slaves in the 17th until the 19th century and treated terribly. So here we are, here are some pictures of her work. Okay, so the purpose of her work. So from the artist herself, she said, I wanted to make work where the viewer wouldn't just walk away. He would giggle nervously, get pulled into the history into fiction, into something totally demeaning and possibly very beautiful. So rather than looking at the piece of work and then walking away, she wants her viewer to kind of get sucked in and find all the meanings of her work. So her work is targeted at grabbing the viewer's attention and encouraging them to look in detail at the meaning behind her work. So really for focusing on what happened to African-American people during this historical period. Many of her pieces of work contain the silhouettes of characters or paintings of scenes from American history. This layered effect is quite striking to the viewer. We're going to look at some in just a minute. So what emotions do you feel when you look at these pieces of art? So here are some of the questions you might want to ask yourself. So maybe write down some of the feelings and emotions you feel when you look at these tapestries. What do you think some of the images are about? Are there any characters you can see? Do they give you a negative or positive feelings? Do they make you feel happy or sad? And what do you notice about the colours that are used? OK, if you want to see those images again, you can just go back and press pause. So have a think about answering some of these questions. What things did you see? Were there any characters or people that you saw? What feelings did each of them give you? Again, if you need to see these, just go back and press pause. So final thoughts for now then. Kara Walker, an American installation artist who uses intricate cut paper silhouettes together with collage, drawing, painting, performance, film, video, shadow puppetry, light projection and animation. So she uses lots of different mediums in her work. And this is all to comment on power, race and gender. So this term we will try to learn the skills used by Walker to develop our own printing techniques. Now that word I use then, silhouettes, are very key in her work. So if we go back, a silhouette, for example, is we have this head here and a head inside the head. A silhouette is when you can't see the detail of something, but you can almost see its outline as if you're looking at something shadow. Okay, so that is silhouette. So here is the sheet that you're going to use for today's work. You'll do it says, who is Kara Walker and what type of artwork does she make? Stretch it, look at one of the pictures from the video. How does it make you feel? What can you see? Is there anything you notice about it? And Solve It says, what comparisons can you make between Kara Walker's work and our previous artist, the cubist Jacob Lawrence? So maybe have a Google and think back to some of the work that Jacob Lawrence did and compare that to Kara Walker's. And there are some key words down here for you. Kara Walker being one, so you can't spell any, anything wrong. Uh, print, silhouette, race, and African-American. Okay, I hope that all makes sense and is useful for all of you. Thank you very much, guys, and I look forward to seeing your work.